Pidge up to third, but two points dropped today. Is that a fair assessment? Yeah, it's a frustrating day, um, but not too bad at the end of it. I mean, we feel like we should be winning all our games at home, and I felt like we did do enough today that we could have won the game. Uh, it's frustrating, but it's important in this league that we keep getting points on the board and we stay unbeaten. I said everyone in the top five dropping points today, uh, so vital that we got the point and we've moved up to third. When you score first, you very often win here at Boston. Not quite the case today, though, but a, a fortunate equaliser right on half time. Yeah, I mean, it's rare. We're confident that we can win every game at home. And when we went ahead 1 0, I thought it was going to be another day where we go on and score and dominate the game. But the uh, goal before half time was fortunate for them, very lucky, just deflected off the um, striker and went in. But uh, it kind of deflated us a bit. But even at 1 0 at half time, we still need to be going out and doing a bit better to finish them games and getting the three points. And today, after Wednesday, you followed it up. So at least after those two defeats, you're back on a positive run of sorts and four points you've stopped the rock effectively yeah exactly if you'd have said before an away game and a home game you'd have taken four points um so it's good we're unbeaten now uh, 10 more games left so we want to stay unbeaten until the end of the season it's important we uh, peak at the right time we don't want to go and uh, peak now and dip for the playoffs we need to be hitting our form uh, at the playoffs and be the best we can be a bit of a reverse to last year you're now seven points in front of where you were with 10 games to go on last year's stats so this year you're right in it rather than being on the edge chasing it yeah it's a strange one for me uh, both years since I've been here we've been chasing it and uh, strung late runner form um, to get in there but uh, we, it's important we make sure our form doesn't dip now we don't need to get complacent if we get in at the playoffs and we look like we're cementing it we need to keep going as I said we need to be hitting our best uh, at the when it comes to the playoffs we need to be hitting our peak and uh, make sure we go and win them and there's eight teams in with a shout. You play four of them in the next month. You've got Fard and Chorley and Tamworth away and <clears throat> Ferriby down here. So some really big games coming up. Yeah, it's a massive month for us now. I mean, every game until the end of the season now is a cup final. But if we can beat the teams around us, it'll be uh, great for us. Not only that, it will put confidence when we go into the playoffs. If we can beat them now and then we've got to play them in the, one of them in the playoffs, uh, they'll be worried about playing us when it comes down to it. And presumably if when you come to the end of March, you still where you are now or better, you'd really back yourselves to finishing the job in April? Yeah, I, I assume so. It's a, a tough month now, so if we get the job done, it's important we try and stay unbeaten. And if we can stay in the playoffs now this following month, then I'm more than confident we can go in with the last four or five games and cement ourselves and get in the playoffs.